Welcome back to Quizplay Star Sector. We're of course picking up right where we left off. We are we are just playing just just our build. We're just trying to survive. Um we finished the main story, so we're free to kind of do what we want now. Um so today I want to build up the fleet, the colony, and our wealth. Today is just going to be like a growing day, hopefully. I want I want all of the stuff to become better in like generically. Hello YouTube indeed, indeed. It's great to see you, Kung Fu. How you doing, man? Were you playing some Stone Shard today, Kung Fu? Were you possibly streaming some Stone Shard, brother? Um, <laughs> anything to do here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Turn woman. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I'll do this. Um, this is just buying Marines. I believe that when you buy the Marines from the bar like this, like you're hiring them. Yeah, they come trained. They come with. Wait, no, I don't. I don't want to do that. Um, I want to store them, not not put sell them. But they come. Um, they come trained with like extra bonus EXP, so they're better than normal Marines. It's not a huge deal, but I don't know, they're a little better. Alrighty. Oh, I saw it was a Espeon Hype, I think, or Hyper Espeon. It was a better Twitch TV emote yesterday uh, in your chat squabs. It was so good. Um, I, I meant to enable it and I just forgot, but it was really, really good, dude. It was a very good emote. Um, it's, it, it was just, like, kind of cursed, but in a really good way. All right. We have too much stuff. Sorry. I'm a little distracted this morning. Let me let me put all this stuff away. We need to get rid of this metal, too. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Um, I don't know if I said we were going to do something at the end of the day yesterday, but I kind of want to just go exploring to start us off. So I think I'm going to chuck the metal in there and then uh, go out to Narnia. I think that's what we're going to do. BTTV is the best. I really, really like it. This is going well. Uh, just got a game by a horde of seven. Skelly's have to start over again. Rip, dude. Rip, rip, rip. We're actually going to be playing some Stone Shard later today. I know that's a surprise. We don't really play that anymore around here. Um, but we haven't played much recently. But I, we read the devlog yesterday, and I was like, oh, I got to get some Stone Shard in, man. And we just haven't played, like, any recently. Um, so I want to play some. All righty. Let me see. Try for a paragon now that the main story is over, Chris. I mean, like, maybe, but, um... What are you... Are you are you pirates? You seem like pirates. You are. Why are you here? Um, they're just generic pirates. All right, whatever. Um, we're not being, like, raided or whatever. Um, it's fine. But, like, maybe. Um, I still... I would like to stay with, like, carriers mostly, so... We're not, like, mostly, but some carriers and stuff. I say mostly. There's, like, four here. Um... But, so, I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe. We'll see. I'm just kind of letting, like, letting the, you know, letting the game go where it goes on this one. Not heading after any ships in particular. I mean, I don't think I need to send in all of our ships. I'm pretty sure we could get away with, with far fewer on this one. Um, just because the enemy's not that scary. This seems like plenty. This seems like plenty. Our executor will take them out. Hey, why need some... Labor and work in satisfactory. <laughs> Alrighty, good food. Okay, okay. I will see you when you return, man. Best of luck. You're flying a carrier right now? Well, I know I'm not flying a carrier, but I did just mean I wanted most of the fleet. I kind of want to keep flying the executor for a while, honestly. I've been um, enjoying it. It's been cool. It's been pretty cool. Um, but if we get an astral, I will use it. But I'm not going to seek one out, I don't think. Um... But, you know, I'm not against it. I, I'm not, I would not turn down a free astral. Or, excuse me, a paragon. Did I say astral both times? I meant to say paragon. Um, I was thinking about, like, how we could maybe have an astral in the fleet, too. That was unrelated. That was just a thought. Uh, oh, and dude, this is the uh, the Falcon. I forgot we made it into, like, a super short-range ship. Um, with its little, like, missiles. And then the, uh, the, the cryoblasters or whatever. The cryoclaimer. This thing, I, I'm liking this thing, dude. I'm liking having this thing on my side. This thing is pretty dang cool. Oh no, I missed. I just missed my shot. Astral's also real good. Yeah, I would, I would, I would also love an astral. Um, and an astral is, it's a, uh, it's a bomber. It's, you know, it's, a, it's a carrier. You can put whatever you want on it. But its special ability is like, um, you can teleport your 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 fighters or your bombers better. You know, you're better off teleporting the bombers. Um, back to your ship. And then when they go back to your ship, uh, they can re re like refuel on bombs or whatever, resupply on bombs and do another bomb run right away. So the Astral can produce like an incredible amount of threat. And it has like six or seven bombs or like slots. I don't know how many, but like a lot. It's either six or seven. 
You can fit like a, a truly tremendous amount of bombers inside an asteroid. It's crazy. Is that a special bounty falcon? It is. It is. Where is it on the field? Yeah, it's called a raptor. Um, this thing is insane, dude. Let me let me actually like look at it. It's got it's got the uh, uh, quadra bomb slots, smalls, but bombs. Um, quadra small frontals, and then uh, two medium energies. And its ability is time accelerator. So so it gets to go faster or make everyone else slower or whatever, depending if you're playing it. Um, but it's really good, dude. It's amazing. Um, it's not even from a super, like, tough bounty. It's, like, a couple hundred thousand or whatever. You know, it's not an easy bounty, but it's not, like, the toughest bounty ever. Uh, so it's, it's, it's definitely worth doing, in my opinion. All right. I don't want my pony to die. My little pony here. I just, it, it's just such a funny name. So I'm trying to protect it. I, if it got out of the way, I could, I could shoot this ship and then, like, you know... I shot my pony. No, I for the Giga Cannon pops out of here, not out of here. Um, it barely hit it, dude. I killed the pony just now. I was trying to protect it. Look what I've done. Rip, rip, rip. Hey, Frick Heckman, how are you doing? Looks like the 4X split got hold of that faction. The X4 split got a hold of that faction. Hmm. What do you What do you mean the X4 The X4 split? What is? I I'm unsure of what that means. The pony is kind of bad. How are you doing, Leaf? I like the pony a lot. I think it's really good. Um, I, I, th I think the... Uh, why am I chasing this one ship down? Oh, there's not even that many ships left. But getting the Amplified Entropy combined with um, a Tachyon Lance for, for a ship that is uh, relatively cheap, I, I value it. I value it. Um, oh, of that Falcon. Not fa I'm, You're totally right. That didn't say of that faction. That said of that Falcon. Um... Oh, but yes, there are the, the, the Falcon does have a lot of like four, like it, it's four bombers, four little, four little like met, uh, weapon slots or whatever. It is very four, four focused. All right, is this fight over? I like, I'm so far off out of the fight that I like can't really help except kill this one dude. I'm like, can we, can we win? I'm not doing anything. Can we, can my team take care of it for me? I've done nothing to help. I killed a pony and that's all I did. But I hope you're doing well today, Leaf. It is great to see you. And I've also messed up my chat. I scrolled up, and it, so I can't see if anyone's chatting right now. I need to scroll down. But if I scroll down, it's gonna. I have to alt tab, and it'll pause the game. So I'm waiting till the fight's over. Okay, fight's over. There we go. There we go. There we go. I can scroll down. Split is a race in X4. Other ships that look like the Fancy Falcon. X4 is that XCOM 4? What is X4? Because I don't, I think there's only three XCOMs. I could be wrong. Finish sharing the pigeons. I mean happiness. Oh, let's go, let's go. X4 Foundations. X is a space sim franchise. It's just called X. Like the the game is called X. I've never heard of it. I don't think I've heard of it at least. Yeah. Okay. I, I yeah. I don't think I've heard of it. The only ship we lost was the pony that I blew up. You hate to see it. Um. X1, X2, X3, X4. Great games. I might have to check them out. I, I don't know how I've never heard of them. But I mean, to be fair, I also never heard of Star Sector until like a month ago. So this, yeah, get, there are many games I have not heard of. Um, sort of janky at times. I don't mind a little jank. How you doing some PTR? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, it's like Eve offline, but their own thing too. All right. Um, right. I'd be down to, to give that a whirl. You know, at least look at it. Maybe consider it. Um, I've never, I've, I've totally never heard of it. Um, we did have to leave this one ship behind, or excuse me, this one planet behind. I call systems, this is a system, not a planet. I call systems ships and planets all the time. So we could pop up there and then try to go out here. Um, and you know, though we're traveling through an area we've already been to, it's not as bad now because we can, um, or to transverse areas we've already been through. Because all I need to do is go up here and find a gate up here and then we can teleport home. We can teleport back to like here. There's a gate here. Because again, we have fast travel now. So if I just find a gate, I can just turn it on. Um, so I'll go ahead and clear this out. Just because it's that one little system we never cleared out. I, I intended to. We just we didn't have the fuel for it. So we'll take care of that. Um, and this little space ghost is, is going to circle around me and annoy me. So I'm going to use an interdiction post and it's going to go like flying away. Yeah, we're free. We're free from the space ghost. Put an IBB battle against a unique Aurora. Really? I've never seen that. That sounds amazing. You need Odyssey and 20, fully other, 20 plus other fully upgraded ships. Those ships are amazing. I want to do that so bad. The Aurora is one of my favorite ships in the game. Um, piloting it, using it, everything about it is lovely. Um, I would love to do that one. 
Let me see here. Best part is building your own stations from scratch. Oh, yeah, I, that seems cool. I've got like 400 single those. I might try them out. I might try them out. Um, if anyone's here in the Discord and you want to link it in the Discord, that, that would be awesome. Of a fight. And to win by making their navy run out of CR. I've heard that that's a viable strat. I was thinking of Yakult as now a yogurt. Now researching and seeing how actually how bad it actually is. I was thinking of Yakult as a yogurt. Yakult? I don't know what Yakult is. Got to dip for a bit. I have some stuff with friends. Oh, let's go. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Mr. Tarvin. And have a good day with your friends, yo. That is that is lovely to hear. Hope y'all are going to have a good day today. I don't know if you're gaming or you're like going outside hiking, literally touching grass or something or eating a meal, but whatever it is, hope you're having a good day, man. Thank you for being here. I will see you around. All right, this system was empty. Um, these red dwarfs are often very empty. So going up here to this one system was not really worth it, but whatever. It's cool, dude. It's fine. Again, as mentioned, we just got to find a gate out here. Um, so it's called a probiotic yogurt like drink. Yakult? I don't I don't know if we have that in the States. Maybe we do, though. I've never heard of it. Maybe it's like just not at my local grocery stores. Um... Yeah, Leaf, that IBB, do you know how much they were paying, like, for, for the completing the contract? Um, because I'm like, did I do that, maybe? I don't know. Um, I don't know if I could do it right now, but I'm like, maybe we could prepare a fleet for it. Maybe we could try to, you know, start going through lots of IBB bounties right now or something. So I would love, I would love a, uh, unique Aurora. That sounds cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and assume there's nothing here. Maybe something could be at, the, like, the top, but I'm going to assume nothing's here. That's fine. Around 800k? Okay, okay. That's not easy or anything, but, like, I think I could maybe manage it. Uh, like, eventually. Um, and we pulled out 200 grand this month, 220 grand, and we're only down 100 grand. So we're making 100,000 bucks a month right now. Delta Gobi is popping off, chat. Delta Gobi I, that is. Um, the, the colony being size 5, allowing us refining, mining, and farming is letting us make, like, a lot of cash. Um, cause we're able to, you know, we, we make the food that we need to eat so we can sell off any excess and we don't have to buy any. Um, so that lowers our, our costs and then we make ore and then we refine, or we mine ore here and at our other colony. And then we refine it all so we don't have to buy ore from other colonies to, to do the refining process. So we have a lot of like in-house, like, I, I believe it's called like vertically structured, like uh, business. Like when you, when you go, um, like when you, when you try to take all the steps of producing the the pro uh, the, the the product like being beginning to end in house um so we're, we're very like vertical i think which is allowing extra profits to be made um and when again when we grow to size four which is going to take forever um or excuse me size six which will allow for uh, industries we'll be able to do commerce which is just literally a, a money multiplier so this co this colony is going to make a lot of money um delta gobi ia is making like way less money um because this is still being built. We'll probably make less money either way, um, just as a result of light industry being, I think, less profitable than... Um... Oh, what's the other thing? Refining. Sorry. Then <laughs> refining. It's still early. It's still early. Um, it was a hell of a battle. I bet. I bet. I bet. The, I like that about the IBB bounties. They're really tough. They give they give really late game fleets, like, um, you know, a big challenge. They give you a reason to want to develop, like, a... Uh, a truly, truly powerful fleet. Because a lot of the stuff in the game you could handle with a, um, like a less than perfect fleet. But the IBB bounties you kind of need. Like the best, like you need to muster all you can muster. Every, every bit of power you can attain, you, you really need to. So, I think it's a great mod. I just makes more if you have free perks of drugs. Um, I think that's true. I don't know if you mean more than mining. Uh, if you mean it makes more than mining, I have no idea. But I believe you were correct about light industry being more money as a result of the port being open and drugs being legal there. Um, I do I do think that is more money than if I turned off the uh, free port. Um, and I we do need drugs because we're also mining. Like, we're mining on both of our planets. So, um, even, even if we're not making more money from the free ports, just being able to get our drugs in-house instead of having to buy them from elsewhere will... Um, We'll generate extra wealth uh, because you know we'll make we'll we'll be able to save money not having to pay other people for drugs, um, and it's like kind of sad, but that's the the game system. Some 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 industries cause a desire for drugs, um, and mining is one of them. So I, it is what it is, I suppose. Um, so we we will produce our own drugs to keep our miners happy. Um, so we'll make you know more money because um, they won't be buying them from other people. 
Oh, uh, there's another catalytic core. These things are really good. We just don't have a planet for it yet, so. Finding, finding another one of these is great. Finding one of those is really good. That was a research station. Um, so finding something that good is, you know, not not as rare. Um, but we were we were able to, you know, this is a black hole, so I kind of, you know, was expecting a research station. Hey, Evan, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Thank you for the lyric, Evan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's great to see you today. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. All right, let me sip some water here. Let me sip up. All right. So sick but feeling better? Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad you're feeling better. I know you said you were sick a, a few days ago or so. Maybe even more than a few days ago. I feel like that was like a week ago or something. Maybe my, my scale of time is off and that was like yesterday. I don't know. Um, but I, I hope you, I, it sucks to hear you're still feeling bad. But I'm glad to hear it's better than it was, you know. If you're, if you're you know, on the other end of it and it's just getting better and better, then that's good to hear. It'll, it'll be gone soon enough then. Or maybe not soon enough, but at least soonish. And this isn't like a terrible little ship. Um, it's got no problems and stuff. If I if I was not so far into the game, I'd be okay with that. But at the point we're at now, I don't I don't need a little ship that that's you know like that. Small ships aren't bad. That one's just not a good small ship. You know, you know. I just it's just not an amazing ship. So we will we will leave that one behind. Okay, we got a couple level five captains there. Um, I think we already have enough. So I'm like meh. Uh, monitors are pretty cool. They're not worth a story point, though. Monitors are really, really good tanks. I think I was talking about them yesterday. They are very good little tank ships. They, they tank incredibly well. Some crew. Getting a lot of, like, random stuff from these ships. That's, that's you know, when you see a field of ships like this, that's kind of what you can expect. Um, you won't really get anything amazing, but you'll get a lot of random stuff. And maybe one ship. Occasionally, you can get something amazing. You could find, like, you know, the greatest of ships out here, like a Paragon or whatever. Uh, so, there, it's not a guarantee that you'll find just random stuff. You could get amazing stuff, but generally it's just some random stuff. But random stuff is great. That you know, it pays the bills. It keeps you, keeps you, you know, going. And there we go, a hundred grand this month. Um, so we made a hundred thousand dollars this month. Um, on top of paying out forty grand, and, you know, just for the the hard mode or whatever, and the crew pay and all that. Oh, and we have those weapons in storage. We need to get those going. But so we made enough money this month uh, that if I actually gave up my hegemony commission, I would still be making money because uh, the hegemony commission is paying me $90,000 a month because of uh, how high level I am. Um, they, it scales up. How much you get paid scales up with your level. So it started at like 30 grand and we're up to like 90 grand. Um, so we could finally get rid of the hegemony commission if we really wanted to. And we would no longer have to suffer the rage of their enemies, you know, because um, we would no longer be affiliated with them. And we would be free to attack them and stuff like that if we wanted to. But I don't think I quite want to give it up yet. Though we would be making a profit, that's with the, the colonies doing really well. If anything goes wrong with them, we'll be, you know, they'll produce less money. And as a result, we will we'll start losing money month over month. So we're getting really close to the time when I want to give up the hegemony uh, commission. I couldn't think of the name. But we're not quite there. We're not quite there. Alrighty. Um, just a planet, nothing on it. Well, there's some stuff behind it. It's just a debris field. You can you can kind of tell by the way it like shows up by the size of it. I did not mean to interdiction pulse. I pressed the wrong button, but it was just a debris field. Um, I meant to take that stuff, not continue. My bad, my bad. Okay. Um, I'm, well, we're done here. There's there's nothing left here. Um, so this hasn't been the greatest journey, but we did get our one uh, synchrotron core, catalytic core, excuse me. Synchrotron core is something else. How could I be such a fool as to get those confused? Um, but we, we found that and that's fine, but I think we already have one and I don't have any planets that I can put it on right now. So it's like, okay, but it's not great. We don't even really need anything to like you know, in particular, I'm kind of just exploring to, like, make some money and maybe find some cool ships and just to, you know, I don't know, not have to explore later or whatever, you know, just a part of the galaxy is found. Um, it's just a, it's a good way to make some cash and stuff. I'm not after anything in particular is what I'm trying to say, so I don't mind that we haven't found anything amazing, but I would have, I would have liked to, uh, or I, I not would have liked, but I want to find things like drugs and organs, um, 
because they're worth more money. Or just heavy, heavy machinery is also worth a lot of money. Ooh, a Legion. Okay, so this is a cool ship. This is what I was talking about. Maybe a class 14? It is. Let's go. Um, so we'll definitely take that. I think that's our third one. Um, so I'm, I might actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go home. I think I want to take on an Omega fight. Um, we know where at least two of them are. We have a ship named something. We have, we have a ship named, the, yeah, Bell, and then what's the other one? Delta Elysia. Um, it's called Monkey Tank? What? That's just the name the game gave it. Um, but we have um, a few Omega fights available to us. We have more than that, but one of them, the, I think the ship died with the, the name on it. So I don't, I don't know where it is anymore, but whatever. Um, we have two of them available, though. So I think I'm actually going to go out to, to Omega and try to fight it. Um, we have, especially with this extra legion we picked up, and I didn't mothball this legion intentionally. Um, I'm glad we have enough crew for it. I wasn't sure about that, but I want it when we, uh, you know, in on the in route to home. I want the demons to maybe get fixed. I was trying to get these fixed up, but that's okay. And this might not even be able to be fixed. I know it was mentioned that it could be, um, like this could get removed, but it is the last one here, so maybe I have to pay to get this removed. Um, which I wouldn't mind doing. When we go home, I will I will pay to get this removed if I can. Um, it, it might also just be a coincidence that it's the last one here and stuff. Um, that's entirely possible. I says Lud. Okay, no, that was something else. Is this thing called the Lud that I just got? Yeah, this is the Lud. Okay, so something on the screen. Right? I don't think that fixes itself. Okay, I, th I thought it didn't, but someone said it might. So I was like, I don't know, maybe they're right. Um, but yeah, so I'll pay for it. I'm happy to pay for it. Also, how you doing, Seawall? Welcome on in. Welcome on in, Seawolf. Ooh, last planet. I think this is the last planet. I think I looked at the rest. I'll check these just to be sure. But it has ruins on it. That's why I was pogged. Some D mods can't be removed at all, such as the alien. That yes, that is that is definitely true. Those D mods, I know, uh, they they're like, the game is like the tech is too advanced or whatever. Um, but I don't know. Uh, eight people, sure. I'll have eight people. Uh, sure, you can you can join us. Um, but, but I think this one can. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Explore the ruins. Yo, a thousand transplutonics. That's a couple hundred grand. So that's what I was looking for. That's like the type of stuff I, I was really looking for. That's just money. Um, which is again, you know, I wanted just money when we came out here. As it turns out, money is good. Let me, let me sip some tea. Um, 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 um. we didn't find a gate, did we? I believe the answer to that question is no. Okay, so we could just go home. Like, we could, or like, go to here and then use this to go here. I actually will keep exploring a little more. I said we were gonna go home, but I'm not really exploring to, to look for stuff. I'm trying to find a system with a gate so we can fast travel home. We only have 200 supplies? All right, that's not a lot of supplies. Um, hopefully we can find a gate pretty soon. Sooner rather than later. Because at this point, going home, will it, it, I, I really need to find a gate. I, we won't die or whatever, but we should. We need a gate. We definitely should get our hands on a gate. Um, and this has oh the Ludics, the Ludics. Um, we paid them off for two years or whatever. Uh, the two years is over, so um, it's now plus seventeen a month. So we need to go home and pay off the Ludics again. And it's gonna be like a couple hundred grand, you know. The the price is is gonna go up like every time. So uh, they're 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 gonna be mad. Um, so while we're here, of course, I will check through the systems. I'm not gonna just, like, not, um, not, not explore them, you know? We're out here. We should explore them. Um, so I will explore them, and exploring them could provide me a lot of supplies, which could let us, you know, not die or whatever, so even though there is no, um, no jump point, or excuse me, no gate here, it is still worth popping out to the stars and checking, or excuse me, the, the planets and seeing if they have anything. I mean, it's also worth checking the stars for anything. You don't, you know, you don't need to go out to the stars. You kind of go into them. Um, but either way, there was nothing here as well as no gate. Um, and I need to not run into asteroids. I need to not let that happen because the asteroids do damage to my ships. Um, we're running lower and lower on supplies. This is, again, this is a problem I have. This happens to me more than it should. I, I don't I thought we had like a thousand supplies. I don't know what happened. Um, but whatever. Maybe we did and I just lost them all by now. Who knows? I am burning, like, a, a lot of supplies per day. We're a pretty big fleet. So I'm really hoping there's a, a, a gate, like, here or over here, because or just a bunch of supplies, because we're running, like, low. We're very low. 
Um, we're gonna start suffering if there's not a gate out here. I kind of took a risk when I saw we had low supplies and then, you know, I continued to, to go out here. That was maybe a little risky. Okay, this planet at least has um, ruins on it. So we can spend some of our supplies, five, to, um, to to search this planet. But it should give us more supplies in return for, for searching. 200 crew as well, that's not bad. Ooh, uh, a combat drone replicator. This makes the ground defenses better, this is good. And we did technically get more supplies than we than we spent or whatever. Um, so overall a positive in that sense, but we needed we needed more than that to, to really, you know, be happy. And there's no gate here, sadly. Um, you can you can tell if there's a gate in the system like right away. I just want to see. Okay, that planet has nothing. We gotta go to this right now. Again, when my ships when this when this runs out, we're going to um we're gonna, the ships will start breaking down and eventually you're gonna become very broken, so. This is not good. Um, We might lose some ships or whatever. It's all right, it is what it is, but it's not awesome. Um, I'm gonna go over here. I like, I, I really gotta find a gate. I'm, I'm like all in at this point. I mean, these are the space ghosts. I gotta shoo them away because they're annoying. And I cannot let my ships be damaged by the storm. We have to go slow. Sometimes I'm like lazy and I get damaged by the storm. I shouldn't, I can't let that happen because again, we can't repair any damage right now. And we're slowly taking damage. So taking extra damage for, you know, just bad play is completely unacceptable right now. Um, we, we cannot afford any, any amount of damage. There is not a gate here. You hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. There will be a gate somewhere, maybe, hopium, copium, but like, I really, really hope we come across one. Or at least just like a research station with like a hundred supplies on it or something. Um, just, just something. There is something on the sun, but I can't, um, to like go near the sun, you take a bunch of damage, so I can't get that item. But there's stuff over here that we can pick up. There's, there's like something floating. What are you? A wolf glass frigate. That's not that good. That's not amazing, chat. We need something a little better than that. Um, we had, we got 10 supplies, but they, they got used immediately. Minor equipment cache, like it's something. Um, okay, it's that. That's not good. That's not nearly enough. But it is what it is. You know, this is entirely on me for for going out too far. And then you know, when I noticed we were low on supplies, I should have just gone home. I would have suffered a little, but it wouldn't have been you know as bad as this. I think, because um, we're probably gonna lose some ships this way. I don't know. If we get lucky and find a, a gate soon, we won't. But um, there's not that many stars left nearby. You know, like this, this or this has to have a gate or we could pop over there maybe, but okay. Yeah, there's one of my ships is at 0% combat readiness. You hate to see it. And um, we're also getting lower and lower on fuel. Um, we, we still have like plenty of fuel to go home or whatever, but you know, it's not, not that much, but we will soon not have enough fuel to go home. There's no gate here, chat. I'm, I'm very sad. Um, there, there, this looks like a system with a bunch of stuff at least though. There's at least a bunch of stuff here. We just lost, oh, we lost our ox. You hate to see it. Um, so the ox lets us go quicker. So losing that sucks. We need to get another one for sure. Um, this was a mining place. Yeah, yeah, and there was a ship there. So at least at least this is like 60 supplies. It's not, not enough, but it's some. And then the debris might have some more supplies for us. Yeah, another 40, okay, okay. I mean, it's, it's something, chat, it's something. Um, again, not much, but something. I'm gonna go down to all these planets because, um, you know, there's a decent likelihood they'll have debris in them. And then I'm gonna take this sensor array and break it down. Um, they That might also have something. Ooh, an orbital habitat. Let's go. This could have a lot of supplies. Opium? Okay, 100. That's that's a decent amount. That's not not bad, chat. Not amazing, but it's not bad. It's 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 gonna help some. And we can go through the, the salvage again and get even more, even more. So again, that's that's some supplies. The ships should get fixed up. Oh, you know what I should do? Suspend repairs. That there we go. Now now these supplies will last us much longer. We're only gonna spend ten a day. I should have done that earlier. I think my dog. Yeah, hold up. I gotta put my dog under a blanket. He just came asking to get some some attention. One moment. He always just walks right up to me. He just walks up and sits and stares at me. He says, hey, please put me under my blanket. 
I've said this before. He knows how to go under his blanket on his own. He just prefers when I cover him with it. Um, all right, another 60 supplies. Okay, okay, chat. We can make it out of here, dude. We got this. Um, especially now that I've put the ships on no repair, um, which does mean a lot of them are in, like, bad condition, which is, like, not great, but they're not at, at zero. Um, they're not, like, fully at zero. Um, so we have some days to, to, you know, find a gate now. Um, I probably should have put us on no repair, like, way earlier. That would have, you know, maybe saved our ox or whatever. But honestly, if all we lose is the ox, that's not a big deal. That's not that, that bad. They're um, not the easiest ship to find, but they're cheap. They're not a, a, a they're not very expensive, so I wouldn't I wouldn't really mind it. I'm just gonna get rid of all that because I don't want to go over on a capacity like every single time we pick something up. Um, you are oh an Arachne. This is not a bad ship, but I just, I just want supplies right now. And we're gonna survey the planet under the hope this uh, under the hopes or the assumption that the ruins will give us more supplies than we spent. Yeah, yeah, and that worked out. We did indeed get more supplies. We'll scan that because it has a uh, we get hyperspace knowledge from it. Alrighty, this was a pretty good world or pretty good system. You know, just, just nothing amazing, but we're just looking to survive at this point, and it let it help us survive. This thing's cool looking. I feel like the, the hermit doesn't normally look like this. I'm not gonna take it, but it was cool looking. 46 supplies, that's not bad. For, from one little hermit? Like, absolutely. I said we were gonna break that down. I'm not gonna. Um, generally, I try not to break them down. They can be used, like, sometimes or whatever. So, I don't know. I just leave them. Um, I, there's, like, no shot that I'll use that one. But I just, in in general, I try not to, to break them down. So, I'll leave it behind. And we could, like, pop over here to try to, you know, look for a gate. But I'm just going to go back um, to these, these two stars here. And if there's no gate here, then we can just go, um, we can go down there. We can make it down there. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.